equals opposite over the hypotenuse and cos of an angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse and tan of an angle equals opposite over adjacent and we know we can remember this in a right angle triangle if we've got an angle here theta uh, we look at finding the opposite that's this side opposite the angle and in a right angle triangle the adjacent is the one adjacent or next to the angle and the hypotenuse is the longest side of the right angle triangle and it's also across from the right angle so hypotenuse so if we've got these sides if the opposite is three meters long and the um, adjacent is four meters long and the hypotenuse is five meters long we can actually work out the sine of theta and we just look at the opposite side which is three meters divided by the hypotenuse which is five meters so the sine of that angle equals three over five three fifths or three divided by five we know that the cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse and that's four divided by five and the tan of the angle is opposite over adjacent which is three quarters because the opposite was three meters and the adjacent was four meters remember that tan of the angle equals the opposite three meters divided by the adjacent which was four meters so if we measure the sides we can actually work out the angle theta because we can go backwards using the calculator to find out what the angle is so here's an example with this one Th sine of theta we know from before equals three fifths so we can rewrite this as theta equals inverse of sine that's sine with the negative one of three fifths and we can use the calculator if you use the shift sign button you'll see that it looks like this and brackets so shift sign brackets 3 divided by 5 close brackets on the calculator and if we hit equals we'll come up on the calculator with 36.8698 and it goes on so that's we've actually worked out that the angle equals this many degrees 36.8 and a bit degrees and if we use the shift key again and the, there's a shift degrees button to uh, shift it into actually degrees minutes and seconds we can find out that the angle equals 30, ooh, 36 degrees actually a typo there typo he says uh, 36 degrees uh, come on Toby draw so 36 degrees and 52 minutes all right so that's how we use trigonometry to find out the angles in triangles we just use the measurements okay time to have a go at some other examples